Hi there, I'm Susan McCord. Today on Dear Cyber Sue, we're going to talk about why some relationships change so much after three to five years. Well, this is very true. And nobody can deny that once you are in a longer term commitment, things alter quite a bit. And what happens is we have choices that we make where we don't always put our, our partner as a priority. And what we need is a little guidance to change that, that sort of pattern that we, some of us get into. And I would say that a good percentage of people do fall into this trap. We're in, we're in a committed long-term relationship and we don't put each other as the top priority. So this can be very damaging because when you're great for three years in the beginning of getting to know someone and your sex is awesome, you're so tight and close together and you just have so much fun with each other. And then all of a sudden it almost seems like overnight, it just shifts. And this is what I'm here to help a lot of people with, with their relationships, because we do forget to nurture them. And it's it's because life gets busy life is so busy and especially when there's kids involved and all those things so our partner becomes sort of a little more on the other side of the priority fence but this is wrong regardless of whether you have children or you don't your priority is to be there for each other first you met each other you fell in love you two are the priority for each other Everything else that comes into your life is a big piece of your life. But if you don't have the foundation in your, in your marriage or your common law, whatever your, your situation you're in, if you don't put each other as a priority and keep focus on that priority, things will start to fizzle down and all of a sudden you'll come home and you'll just look at each other and say, what the hell happened to us? And a lot of the times it's both people. It's not just one person doing it. A lot of the times we just get too busy that we say, well, you know, we've got to take care of the kids first. We've got to take care of, you know, the house first and all these things. No, you've got to take care of each other. If you don't have each other together, the, the whole, you know, as I said earlier, foundation of your house is going to crumble down. You have to please take time out to make sure you don't forget each other. This is so important and so many people do this. It's really sad because I think the biggest reason for this is the excitement isn't as powerful as it once was. And so you come home and you're not into jumping each other maybe like you used to in the past. Now it's comfortable but it's not as exciting and it's not as luring as it once was. So what happens is we tend not to make that a big priority. We still love each other, we still have great things going on together, but it's not as adventurous and exciting as it was in the first couple of years. You can keep things going and rekindle your relationship if you're on top of it. If you don't let it slide down to the basement, so to speak, and you catch it fast enough and you sit down and you have your talks regularly with each other about what isn't happening, what is happening, what's great. You don't want to end up in a marriage where all you're doing is nagging at each other about what isn't working, what isn't getting done. This is another thing that causes a lot of relationships to fail because we don't put the fun things as as a top priority. Now everything has become all about work and what, you know, paying the bills and all those mundane things that go just with daily life. But it doesn't have to be all about that. You have to take time to talk to each other and sit down and say, look, I feel you're not making me a priority. You know, let's change this up. And if they say it to you, if you get defensive about it and say, what are you talking about? You're wrong. They're not wrong because if they notice there's a change, you really need to hear them. It's super important to hear what your partner has to say. If they're nagging you about the same thing all the time, maybe there's something that needs to be changed. 
maybe there's something that isn't being done that needs to be taken care of. That's all. It, you don't want to become a nag. Nobody wants to be that person. Of course, a relationship takes work. You have to nurture all your relationships, whether it's your family, your friends, or your partner and your children. But if you don't pay close attention to things and you're making other people a priority over your partner or other situations a priority constantly over your partner, they're not going to feel appreciated. I always suggest that couples sit down once every week or so and just say, hey, so what's going on? Like, is there anything that, you know, we need to, to do in our relationship here? Is there something that we need to do within the house that we need to work on together? Sit down and have a talk about the things that are kind of bubbling up before they boil over. Because this is what happens with a lot of couples is they don't talk enough about the things that need to be taken care of or that are being ignored. Maybe it's, maybe you're not making love as much anymore. You're not cuddling or kissing each other anymore. Those things right there are big indicators of, of problems to come. You always want to man maintain intimacy within your relationship. Don't let it slide because you're too busy. Make time for that. That is one of the things that I, I find with a lot of couples that I've, I've had as clients. They both admit that they've let a sex slide. They've let intimacy slide. They're just sitting there watching TV and cuddling, things like that. And that is, once you start stop touching your partner as much and you're not as intimate with each other, it kind of puts you more in the friend zone and puts you in a different scenario with each other. And you don't want that. You always want to stay attracted to your partner and be physically drawn to them, sexually drawn to them. All those things are super important to keep the fires lit. And if you get too busy with other things, you're not prioritizing your partner, it's very easy to slip into that place. So love and relationships, they're really full-time jobs. There's not a lot of time to sit back and slack off and just think, oh, well, they're here and they're not gonna go anywhere. There's so many choices and so many options today. People don't have to stay in a, a you know, 60 year marriage like maybe your parents or grandparents did. It, it's not that way anymore. So you really have to make it, things work even harder now. Because when you choose somebody, you want, you're choosing them because you wanna spend your life with them. So why wouldn't you always make each other a priority? make each other feel important, listen to what each other has to say, be there for each other's goals, aspirations, all those kind of things. It's, it's really, I feel, a, a great thing to do and it's fun. I think it's fun being there for your partner and watching things evolve for them. And if things evolve for them and they evolve for you, then you're growing together as a couple. You're not growing apart. And that's where people make a mistake because they prioritize everything else in their life except for the one person they should be prioritizing. Our relationships are always going to change. Every year we're together, there's going to be new things we're dealing with, new, new goals and things that we're doing in our life. Maybe kids come into the picture, maybe we move to a new city, we buy a house. These sort of things happen. So there's always going to be changes. But you have to be able to adapt to those changes. And if there's something that's bothering you, don't let it sit. Don't let it fester. Talk to your partner about it. That's why you're in a partnership. You're sharing things together. Don't live in your relationship alone and be upset about things that maybe aren't working out for you. Because the reason things change, especially three to five years in that time frame, those are the bigger changes because the honeymoon stage is, is not quite there anymore. And now you're looking into a new place of just a nice, normal consistency in your partnership. But sometimes it feels different. It doesn't feel like it's as exciting. Make it exciting. Take turns bringing something exciting into the relationship on a date night or a trip or a, a planned trip or something. Do something that surprises your partner. There's so many little things that you can do all the time to make your partner feel special and vice versa. So don't get lazy.
Don't get complacent that your partner will always be there. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate you all. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you could do so. Please click like and leave any comments you have below. I love hearing from you. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.